We're doing something a little different. It's been a while since I tied some flies, but I want to do like a little bit of a um, a new series kind of thing on my page. Um, do some fly tying stuff. I used to do it back in the day. Um, it's been a while since I've done it, but I really um, enjoy doing it. It's very satisfying. Um, I enjoy doing it a lot. So. We're gonna try and do a little bit more of that. Hopefully you guys can see well. This is my first time doing this. Um, bear with me, my vise has, has the just a pedestal on it, so it might move around just a little bit during the video, but bear with me here. So, today we are tying a bead head woolly bugger. I'm gonna do some, some bass fishing, some steelhead fishing, that kind of stuff. Um, this year, I have my uh, materials all prepped for the most part, and uh, I'll kind of walk everybody through what I'm using here. I don't know how many fly fishermen follow my page, but it's a great time. So, first off, I'm going to start with the hook. I'm using a Mustad size 8. Um, you can see that there. Streamer hook. Um, I really like mustads, and then I'm also topping it with a uh, 3, -sixteenths, 3 sixteenths diameter bead head um, in gold color. Um, Cyclops beads, I don't really know if it matters what bead you use. But we're going to start by putting, whoop, 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 putting the bead small hole through the front. I'm getting it locked up in our vise here. And uh, make sure it's good and tight. The lead, I'm using 35 thousandths lead wire. And I'm just going to start with, I usually go a few wraps and do the old helicopter break the excess off now you can use more or less wraps depending on the depth of water you want to get to um, but I usually go with 8 to 12 wraps and like I said depending on how deep you want it to go I usually do a few different ones some a little deeper than others um, depends on what you're doing I suppose um, using 140 ultra thread in black so we're going to start our thread here and bear with me any of you out there that are diehard fly tires I haven't done this in a while so bear with me here I'm gonna do my best for you so Get it all the way back to about the start of the bend. I usually go about right here. I build up a little bit of thread for something to anchor to. And then for my tail material, I'm using the Wooly Bugger Marabou in black. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I pull off a decent little chunk and then you got the uh, like hard stem ends cut those off and I usually do about like one and a half ish the length of the shank of the hook And then I start with a couple loose wraps just to hold it down, make sure it stays on top of the hook. And then I hold it, pinch it down a little bit. Hold it, try and tighten it down a little bit. I like to cut the excess like at an angle 
so I can fill in that void that I created between the lead and where I start the tail. So then I wrap back up, kind of tighten everything down a little bit. So it kind of fills in that, that dip between where the lead ends and where I start the tail. Um, now I'm going to tie in my chenille I'm using a tri-level Antron chenille in medium black. Um, I already cut a little chunk here that I'm going to use. I like to take the end and just pinch and strip a little bit off so I expose the kind of the wire on the inside or the thread on the inside. And then loose wraps initially. Hold it, tighten it down, loose wraps, loose wraps, and then we're going to wrap this all the way up to the bead. Usually at this point what I do is I take my hackle pliers, I just hold that so it kind of keeps it in place. And I do some loose wraps, big winding loose wraps all the way to the front. <clears throat> so that we secured that hackle, wrap it back. I like the little bit of a ribbed. <laughs> ribbed texture for her pleasure so next we're going to add the hackle and i am using a woolly bugger patch woolly bugger hackle hopefully you guys can see all this i don't know if my light's too bright but this is a trial run here so i take my piece of hackle i usually strip off just a little bit to expose that stem. Let's start with a couple loose wraps. Well, And then start wrapping your hackle back over. And then same thing I did with the chenille. I used my hackle pliers just to hold on to the end of it. Give me some weight. And then I loose wrap a train work my way like in between the hackle fibers so that way I'm not tying them down as much as I can so I kind of work it back and forth until I get up to the head a couple wraps tighten it down break that off Push everything back, a couple wraps, then we're going to hit it with the whip finish.
I like to do two. I don't know, but I'm just a little anal like that. Give her a pull tight. Let's see how she's looking. She's looking pretty decent. Snip off the extra. And then I use Hard as Hull Penetrator um, Head Cement. Hit it with a little head cement. Let's see. Let's see what we're looking like. Looks she looks pretty decent. So, mind you, this is, I haven't tied flies in many years. But I hope this helps somebody. It's super easy way to tie a woolly bugger and you can do it in many different colors. Like I have the, um, the black one I've been doing. Um, I got some olive green ones that I've been doing. You can tie them in many different colors. Your main colors are gonna be your black, brown, and green. Um, I decided not to tie any browns. Just I don't know, black and green. We're gonna we're gonna send it. But we're gonna do some uh, fly fishing stuff here real soon. Um, I've got out of fly fishing recently. Well, not recently. It's it's been a few years since I I fly fished, and I really enjoy it. I don't know why I stopped. So. I'm gonna try and get back into it for you guys. I'm gonna do some fly fishing videos. Hopefully you enjoy it. I try to do my best on uh, creating good content. But I wanna start this fly tying series. I feel like that would be cool. Um, I enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Um, but I got some patterns that I've been tying over the last week or so just getting back into it um, hopefully you guys enjoy it um, I enjoy doing it and we got some fly fishing trips coming up soon so it's gonna be a little bit different than the normal content fishing hunting well normal regular fishing spin fishing bass fishing walleye fishing whatever but hopefully you guys enjoy it um, I'm happy to uh, to help anyone if you guys have any uh, suggestions definitely leave them down below in the comments um, like subscribe if you actually like the video I'd appreciate it I'm trying to grow a page it's a little bit smaller page but um, I try to be as authentic as possible if I can um, I just want to I just want to show my passion to the world um, but yeah I'm gonna start this new series on fly tying um, hopefully you guys think this is helpful if you ever want to get into fly tying I tell you what if you're if you're a fly fisherman and you've never fly tied before please do it and you can get a cheap setup um, for 20 30 bucks you can get a vice I know the materials are a lot but check out what you want to do um, and then just buy a couple of materials to do that. In the long run, it saves you money. Now, initially, yes, you're gonna spend a little bit more money, but in the long run, it saves you money. Like, I'm tying flies for 40, 50 cents a piece. And if any of you know, like, you go to a, you, you go to a fly shop and they're quite a bit more than that. Um, it just takes a little bit of time, but it's fun to do. On your off time, it's, it's just fun to do, so. Um, 
I appreciate y'all uh, checking everything out. It's a little bit different than the normal, uh, normal content, but hope you guys drop a like, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below if you have any suggestions or things you want to see, things you want me to tie. I will do my best to do it, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching, um, and I'll see you on the next fly tying video. Thanks, guys.